So in this question, it's given that there is a matrix B and C, then there are certain conditions or options, which of the following options are true for matrix A such that AB is equal to C, right? So AB is equal to C. Okay, so we are having B as 1, 0, minus 1, 0, 1 and 0, right? And we are having C here as 0, 0, minus 1 and 2, right? So there is a matrix A which when multiplied with this matrix B is giving a matrix C, right? So let's write the orders of these matrix. So this matrix B is having the order 3, 2 and this is having 2 plus 2. Right. So there is a matrix A which is of some order M cross N which when multiplied like this is when multiplied with B with the order 3 cross 2 is giving a matrix C of order 2 cross 2. Right. So it's quite evident and quite uh, you know by, by through some examples we know that uh, if if there is a matrix say uh, 2 cross 3 uh, let's not take this example uh, there is a matrix 4 cross 3 having 4 rows and uh, 3 columns and there is another matrix having 3 rows and let's say uh, 2 columns then these two things are get eliminated and the resultant matrix when these two matrix are multiplied uh, have the order 4 cross 2 right so like this so multiplication is only defined in between two matrix if they have if one if the uh, if I, I can say that preceding one or let's A and B, the multiplication is defined in between A and B. If A is having, uh, if the numbers of columns in A is equal to the number of rows in B, right? So, and from, from this discussion, we can conclude that uh, to make this happen, this N has to be 3 and uh, this M has to be 2. So, the order of A is 2 cross 3, right? So, uh, this matches with this a should be a 2 cross 3 matrix right so this is good and this uh, such a matrix does not exist this option is eliminated right okay so there is a unique matrix a satisfying this property and there are infinitely many properties or, and this option is also eliminated right so yeah let's move and try to think of this what what should be the thing uh, what should be the answer for this actually let me let me first mark the answer actually the answer is this there are infinitely many such matrices how let's see right so uh, let's let's uh, one minute let's, uh, yeah let's take the matrix a right a matrix as we have to make it of uh, the order 2, 3, right? So let it be A, B, C, D, E, and F. So it is having two columns and three, uh, sorry, two rows and three columns. So it's a 2 cross 3 matrix, which is, which we need. And let's try to multiply it with the given matrix. So, uh, so it's, let's try to find A, B, which is nothing but A, B, C, D, E and F right and this is multiplied with uh, one zero uh, zero one minus one and zero right so what this would give us so the result would be a matrix two of order two cross two right so it would be a b will get cancelled and minus c right and then we'll get b only b and then again it is uh, d minus f right and and uh, this is here it is e right so we've got a good matrix which is of our great which is of uh, our use right So now we can write it like this that A minus C, B, D minus F and E is equal to the uh, matrix which is given to us which is nothing but 0, 0 and minus 1 and 2, right? So this is the given matrix. So <clears throat> from, from let's e try to equ uh, equate the matrices, right? So 
for this you need to be familiar with the concept of equality of matrix so it is nothing but a minus c is equal to 0 which is a is equal to c right and b is equal to 0 so the value of b is quite you know it's fixed and d minus f is equal to minus 1 this implies d is equal to f minus 1 and e is 2 so uh, what actually is the deciding factor of that option is this is these two things that a is equal to c and d is equal to f minus 1 keep the uh, so uh, keep changing the values of a c d and f and you will get according to according to the uh, situations given and you will get a number of matrix so we can say that there are infinitely many such matrices right so these two options are correct